Okay, hello every pony. Um, today the video is about the rarest item on sweetanarchy.net and the reason why I'm making the video is just because I'm relatively sure that no one will guess correctly what it actually is. So normally you'd think, oh, um, a book or a map art that hasn't been shared around is usually one of the rarest items or probably illegals that just have been kept private. Uh, I'll just get started with the books. So there are some uh, quite known people who have joined the server and have signed books. The issue is the server has two easy dupes as everyone knows that are always running and that means yep they went ahead and just duped the books. So there are duper trooper books as an example. Um, the only really rare book I can think of that hasn't been shared is by the owner himself, Bloxworker. I'm not quite 100% sure, but I've asked around and uh, from what I've heard, the he has only signed two books. And one of those books went to King XT, so he probably has a one of a kind book and I don't actually know where the other book went. <laughs> so that already sort of hits a dead end. So here's a really good example of what I mean with items are not rare anymore because I get overduped. I think it's in this chest right over here. The Crusaders History Kit. So there was a player, I think his name was Zalio, a griefer on the server, who just kind of collected sort of rare old books. That these books are probably only rare because they are made by some OG player who played in the very early days. Um, yeah, that are just all old player books and... This kid, look, I have 25 dubs of it. So this just... not really rare. And there's, I think, another kit right over here that I have. Just gotta go over there. Just give me a second. Uh, right over here, rare books. I guess they're not rare anymore because I also have 25 dubs of them. Oh, there's a Taft Place book, a Pillager book, an OG name, basically, by owned by Duper Trooper, or used to be. I have no clue. We got a noodles book, also another OG player. Lady Bells, 12 Alu, just all old players. Joplo, an old grief on the server. And just because of this, really, the books, they are just not rare anymore. <laughs> so, other than the two blocks worker books, where I'm not even sure if the, uh, my claim is real. I have no clue. I That's just what I've heard. So I can't even confirm if that is true, but with this, we can really rule out books, I'd say. Okay, so there's one exception for the books, though, uh, other than the Blocks Worker books, and that is this book. Basically, it has been written a good while ago by XC Wake Up. <laughs> it's called a PHEC. There are two of those books. Uh, this shulker only has one of a type. I don't know where the other type actually is right now, so I'd look. I will look for it later, but... This used to be shared around quite a lot, but after a long time, less and less people just got their hands on it, so it just like sort of went out of circulation. So that just makes it sort of uncommon, I'd say. It's not a one of a kind book, though. I also have 25 dubs of it, and I know that one or two people probably have that book too, or that Schalke, just the creator himself, obviously. And uh, the base where I've grabbed the Shulker from. But it may be that there are way more people that still have a Shulker. I'm not sure, but I just know that these days this Shulker is definitely not in circulation anymore. So it's probably really, really old. Must have been ba like made back in 1.15 or 1.16, most likely. Also, the server... Oh, the community has a made a discord called the Sweet Archive. And basically, all of the map art here, like that is built on the server, usually gets shared by all the artists, and it ends up in the archive. Um, I'm not gonna scroll up much because some of it is... I can't just show it on YouTube, that's the issue. <laughs> but... Really, a lot of the map art just has been shared here, so... Maps have been passed around and... Usually, they end up sort of public over time. Yeah, but if I'll leave this Discord, the link of it, in the description, in case you want to try collecting all the map art. 
if you guys know, I have this project running called the Sweet Gift Shop, and I have actually went ahead and gotten around like to getting all the map art. I've collected it all, and I'm gonna add it soon to the collection. There are just a few issues I first of all have to solve before I can do that. No, just going over to map art. Honestly, if you have seen the picture, it's sort of like an NFT. You can just screenshot it and make in <laughs> the exact same map art. So uh, it doesn't feel really like it's. It could even classify as various items. Same for banners. You can always just like it's just like an NFT. You can like make a screenshot and boom, it's not rare anymore. Uh, in this case, you just rebuild it. So I I don't really feel like this should count. So, going over to the illegals, um, there are quite a lot on, like, quite a lot of illegals on the server. Or, better said, there used to be a lot of illegals on the server, so the issue is, half of them got kinda wiped out over time. It's really difficult to explain. But basically, very back in the day, there used to be a different server owner that wasn't Blocks Worker. And there was a small slip up that uh, the old owner, which I won't mention the name of, opt another player named Soda Drinker 2. Uh, basically, Soda Drinker 2 went sort of to buy milk. We tried our best to trace him down, but to no avail. So, there he goes. I couldn't ask him. Luckily, um, one of the screenshots with original illegal survived, so I can just plop that on the screen now. So this is the original screenshot, but I think it's better if we have a slightly closer look at it. So on this picture we can see Llama X, Common Blocks, Barriers, Dragon X. This probably is Bedrock, the Enchanted Thing, and Emerald Blocks. Um, so many of the illegals that are in the screenshot most probably know, like Barriers, Common Blocks, and uh, Llama X, as well as Polyframes, are really known. But it's still a bit confusing. So I've spoken to all the players and many people can't recall there being enchanted pumpkin pumpkin pie or enchanted emerald blocks. Also for the dragon eggs, that may be the reason why they have been mass distributed, but maybe the original dragon egg has been distributed. So many people are even unsure if the screenshot is real. <laughs> so at some point, the owner figured out, I think really early on, that he accidentally gave Soda Drinker 2 OP status. So he went ahead and tried to erase all illegals because he was in rage. Like, he, he wanted them all gone. But it seems to have failed for some of the illegals, but as it seems, Bedrock is entirely gone, Pumpkin Pie, the enchanted emerald blocks as well, portal frames also. But I've had talk with older players, and they told me that they know that their stash is still with Bedrock and Portal Frames, like in the 200 to 400k range. It's just that they don't remember any cores and haven't saved them. So, also, at one point, when the 1.15 to 1.16 update happened, uh, I've heard that, a f like, a few of uh, the remaining illegals just got deleted somehow. So that's also very interesting. The cool thing is that we still have a few more screenshots. First of all, this portal built near spawn, and also these barrier, like this barrier wall, right at spawn as well, and it has coordinates on it, so I could actually check out if they are still around. Also, for the emerald blocks, they may be real, since if you have been at spawn like in 2021 or even these days, you may still see just emerald blocks spammed all around spawn. And that would imply that those who have the enchanted emerald blocks that just got placed and due to that they lost their enchantments. It's just a possible, uh, I guess, theory. So this is exactly what I've been talking about. Emerald blocks just scaffolded all over spawn. I just keep seeing them everywhere when I'm like just traversing around spawn. Also, I want this user book banned so soon. I hope it gets unpatched so I can just like throw a shark at him. So right over here I'm at the coordinate of what used to be the swamp where the barriers have been placed, but I have search on and also I just can't seem to find them. I've just like hovered around everywhere and I just 
don't cross any like barriers. There should be a Y level 68 just right around here. Now if I go 80 blocks this way, they should be right over here, but I just don't see them. Like really, I just don't. Like they should be right over here, but that's just a huge like lava cast. So it just doesn't really add up to me at least. Like, I just keep clicking and I just don't see anything. Like, quite literally nothing. So they must have been removed entirely, as it seems. Oh, and we know that end portal frames are real, just simply because Teflase recently made a video showcasing a base made by Nebumina and Chappie, which had illegally placed end portal frames. So... It is very likely that the screenshot I've shown before is real and isn't a fake oh and now i'm roaming around the area where the end portals are supposed to be and as it seems those have been erased too but once again we see emerald blocks all over spawn um so i'm relatively sure the emerald blocks the enchanted ones used to exist for a short while and just have been mass spammed all around spawn it's really weird Okay, and no, while this isn't an actual item, I'm 25,000 blocks out roughly, but instead we got a one of a kind placed block, and this is a llama egg spawner. While well, llama eggs are um, lost of time, they still exist and you can't even dupe them. So they're quite common, like nearly everyone has them. But you can't use the llama eggs, but you could one time, that was in 1.17. And basically there was a bypass with the shulkers being burned that they dropped contents and you were just simply able to pick them up back then, so... What a person did, we don't know who it was. He simply put a spawn egg into a spawner. So... Oh my god, I just lost it again. Let's, I think it's down here, right? Yeah, there we go. So, we got a llama spawner and... There are not many llamas down here since you need a grass patch for them to spawn. It seems like it has been buried pretty well. But this is a one-of-a-kind spawner. So basically, out of the illegal screenshot I've shown before, only barriers, common blocks, and llama eggs survived. And I got llama eggs and common blocks over here. Uh, you can just easily hold the shulkers, rename them, dupe them, all good, it won't revert. But for barriers, it's a bit different. While they still exist, the owner doesn't know why, I've asked him about it. But they seem to hard revert, so if I open the chest and there would be barriers inside, the shulkers would just all end up being empty. Um, so there's just a small issue. This has been for a very long time, and the server used to be really dead back then, so not many people at all got those. Also, they were never really passed around a lot. They People like to keep them private, so only a couple of people have them, and actually, I do have them. There's just the issue that I can never access the chest until it's, yeah, fixed and I can access them again to dupe them, distribute them. I, I, I think even I myself will keep them rare and not share them. That's the intent of everyone who owns those items. Okay, so as far as I know, this chest is my only dub where barrier shulkers are in. The issue is I can't open it to check if they're still in, but I just have to take it for granted. So. This chest and maybe lady belts. That are the only two chests I believe on the server that still have unrevert barriers. So I just can't open it. Which sucks. But actually, we're not done with barriers and all. There are some other illegals that haven't been created by a soda drinker too. With that, let me introduce you to beehives. Or bee nests. Basically, this is a reverted up. So the issue is, with a 1.17 update, people started packing beehive shulkers into full boxes. Like, they filled up a whole shulker with beehives. The issue is, beehives have a honey level in bees, and that adds a lot of NBT data to this block. And if you fill a whole shulker, depending on the configuration of the bee nests, you can actually end up with multiple hundreds of kilobytes. Within a single shulker, and for ver for a reference, a normal shulker only has 1 to 4 kilobytes. So if you fill the whole dub with it and constantly open the chest, you were able to crash the, like, the server entirely. Or just loading a stash that had a few dubs of those, it just ended the server entirely. 
So blocks work out to implement a patch that if there's more than one stack of beehives in the shulker box that the other ones just get deleted upon interacting with them. It's the same for barriers, but barriers just get deleted entirely. Why? We still are unsure. Or not we, but blocks work. I mean, I'm also gone. He's trying to figure the issue. Good news for me, however, are that I have a whole chest that have stashed with beehive shulkers that haven't been reverted. They have been duped and put here before the patch was implemented. So you people uh, were messing with books in 1.17 and before no one did as well, which is really odd. I expected people to do. But basically people spammed Unicode, the classic, to fill books with large amounts of data. The idea behind it was to book ban people and to simply cause server lag to test. Uh, the people who did, like, who made those books obviously reported to Blocksworker and these books, like the unreverted ones, have barely been spread around. This type of shulker is only owned by a couple of people and the really large ones. So they're basically also book band shulkers that are 400 kilobytes large. I think I'm still the only person except one stash where they still are. That, like, I'm the only person who has them and of the large shulkers, they're only 12 in existen uh, existence. So small update, the only left book ban shulkers that are really large are in this house. The Sweet Anarchy Illegal House. Basically I have in this hopper the last two existing shulkers. And if I if I drop they revert. The issue is there's also a plugin that if shulkers exceed a certain amount of data, they'll just simply delete. So yeah, that are the last two in existence and I just hope that those never touch the floor and stay inside that hopper. But uh, what if I told you that the rarest item on the server isn't actually an illegal or anything like that. It's an item you normally can obtain in Minecraft, but you can't on Sweet Anarchy, it's Mopeds. Yeah, I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but Mopeds, Mopeds never really existed on the server. Like, those are the only ones that actually exist on the entire server. Why? Because you can't obtain them here. The reason is, weather never was enabled on the server. Also, while raid banners aren't rare, they used to be since... Uh, back when the server was very new, you could normally obtain them just fine, they would all drop and all, but... For a long while, you would just get a white banner with all the NBT data erased. S and... I don't know how many people still have those, but I don't think they're any different from regular white banners, so... It used to be also one of the rarest items, but it's not anymore. So... Uh, well, I may be the only one who has that banner right now, but... If you, you could just obtain another one and it would work just fine, at least these days. Well, now we know what the rarest item is, but... There's also mobs. And... There are a couple of unique mobs that can't be replicated. First of all, charge creepers. So when I talked about the mob heads, obviously you need to make charge creepers to get mob heads, right? And I actually also left some charge creepers behind. And I can't travel out of them right now, they are only like 3000 blocks away from spawn. So I hope they haven't been found and all lit off. I have hidden some somewhat well. So let's go out there and uh, get surprised, I guess. Well, seems like my first charge creeper just went poof, so let's check the other locations. Okay, seems like that one is also gone, may have despawned. The thing is, they're not in the boat anymore, but there's also a river over here. Would you look at that? That close to spawn, it still exists. <laughs> Yo, let's go. So let's see how many more we have left. Yeah, seems also like that charge creeper is gone, so... That means there's actually only one charge creeper left on the server. That's it. One charge creeper. It's one of a kind. Close to spawn. Not gonna lie, after this video is done, I'm gonna travel it so fucking far out and save it because it's the last one that still is around. Dude, I'm like shocked. I had seven coordinates and only one of them survived. And they were all double boated, so one of them was also gone. So I only have one singular charge creeper left. Jesus Christ. So and this is the rarest tamed mob on the server. 
So now who is Ho Hojen? Like, who is that? Like, not an un unimportant person, I guess, right? No, it was the old server owner. And he only ever tamed one horse. And it's still around. I have no clue where it is, but a few players know. Um, at least to this point, it's like the rarest horse. There may be another one in the future. So just as I finished the video, Soda Drinker 2 actually responded and he told me that he made the illegals like within 5 minutes. He only had OP for like a very very brief time. And basically he was on a Minehut server before and there he had like a creative toolbar I believe. That's how it's called. Basically you can like configure shulker boxes or inventories in creative mode to grab them instantly. And he had a couple of illegal safe because he was testing on a Minehut server and I guess he was lucky. So basically, I told before, Bleeper was deleting all of the illegals and such. But, uh, well, the person was smart enough to hide a few of the Shalkers in his X carry. And due to that, the owner couldn't see any of the Shalkers. So X carry essentially is the crafting grid and if you do slash in C or so, or look in the... Um, player data, essentially the crafting grid doesn't show up, but you can still store items there thanks to a hack claim module. So that's how he probably saved just a couple of the remaining illegals on the server I guess, and that's why the others were lost, because Bleepo got mad and just wiped them all out, except the ones that survived. That's already the end of the video, um, expect next week more kids to come out on the sweet gift shop and on the last note. It seems like Enchanted Ender Eyes also existed.